welcome back to my channel. I thought I would do a little bit of a guinea pig health updates video seeing as there's been quite a lot this last week or so and I kind of wanted to document it really. Um, so right here I have Sophia and Sophia she had to have an eye operation so here she is So basically what happened was, I'll just try and move the camera so you can see her actually. Um, so basically what happened was I noticed her eye went blue which is kind of a sign of infection or like eye injury so it was kind of like after I put drops in, I think it was maybe like a day or so later, I noticed it wasn't healing, wasn't getting any, any better. Um, so what I had to do was take her to the vets and it had got, by this point, it had changed from being kind of blue to kind of white in colour. So, and it was really like swollen and I think by this point it had gotten to the point where the only thing to do was to remove the eye. Um, so normally what happens, I mean, we often have hay pokes or that kind of thing with our guinea pigs and um, generally what I will do, generally they'll respond very quickly to like the eye drops and stuff but I feel like with this one there could have been something that got stuck behind her eye like a hayseed or something but basically yeah it didn't respond to the eye drops and it just very quickly became like very inflamed and I don't have any pictures because it was pretty horrific but um yeah it kind of there wasn't really anything the vets could do other than remove the eye so she had her eye removed on Friday and it's now Monday so the procedure went okay actually she did um she recovered quite well from the anaesthetic and everything and you know the the, basically the eye operation did go as they'd hoped which is obviously wonderful and um, I popped her back out afterwards and you know she was she was doing all right but the main problem was getting her eaten again and we'd just had a really cold night last night so I decided to bring her in I didn't obviously there's a it's a very difficult one because once they're in that's kind of it our house is quite cold so I mean it's not a massive drastic temperature change but obviously I was really worried about her and it's the last thing I wanted to do really but you know I thought obviously I've got to make sure that she's comfortable and not out in the cold if she's not really up to it and she wasn't she didn't have her appetite back I think had she been eaten properly she would have been fine but it was just getting that appetite back really, getting her eating again. So, yeah, I took her again this morning and they give us some of this recovery feed. It's like the supreme stuff. So she's really not wanting to take this either. But I've noticed she was chewing on some veg this morning. So she's not completely off her of food, but she's only in the bare minimum really. We'll take this tube off you. <laughs> she wants to go back in it. I know, I'm so sorry. Um, so yeah, they gave us some of this and said just see how she gets on with it to try and get her, you know, try and get something down or something through her system because obviously when guinea pigs don't eat, they can go downhill very quickly. So um, I'm just going to try and get some of this down her. She's very, very reluctant to take it. She'll fight me for it a lot, but... Obviously we've got to try, haven't we? So basically the whole of last night she hadn't done any poops or anything and she was really just picking up food only in like minuscule amounts but um, yeah, like I say she did have some veg this morning she had a bit of that and I have seen some poops so we just got to keep her going really and do what we can so the fact that she will eat some by herself though is good. I'm just trying to get a tiny bit of this down her as well because 
obviously she's very reluctant to take it but if she can have a little bit it's got to help right then you Here I've got Mabel and I've also got a load of straw with her, she just come out the hutch. So basically the story with Mabel is that she's had an ear infection and I thought she was kind of going a bit deaf because her hearing wasn't so great, she didn't really hear when I came in with the food and stuff. But I noticed out of her right ear she was having all this like really heavy discharge coming out of it so we treated like the ear infection and it healed really well, gave her pain relief. She'd lost hundreds of grams really with that over the course of quite quite a long time. Um, so it was a gradual build up really. So I managed to get her on the pain relief and get that cleared up and she put the weight back on. Um, so that all healed but then what I noticed was recently she had the same kind of stuff coming out of her head. It was really strange. And then she lost a little bit of hair on the head as well, like on the crown of her head. And she'd got an abscess so whether that ear infection just got so... Um, I don't know whether it had got like a lot deeper than we thought and it just came out as an abscess but um, she's getting antibiotics now for the abscess and she's still on some pain relief um, but yeah the ear, the ear infection actually cleared very well it responded well to the treatment so we're kind of just treating the abscess now and also sort of trying to clean it up but it's healing very well it's now just kind of looking like it's healing over so that's very good. I'm just gonna put her over here. Alright then so do the nasty one first because she doesn't like the um, antibiotics. They obviously don't taste as good. Here we go. I know, I know. You must be fed up of me now. Right, we'll get this down you then. There's a good girl. I know, it's nasty stuff, isn't it? Good girl. Well done. She took that very well. So, pain relief as well. This one's not so bad, is it? <laughs> she's an absolute star now for taking this because she's so used to it. She has it every day. And Sophia's also on the pain relief just because she's still been a little bit of pain after the, the eye operation, obviously. Okay, and the last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to bathe the top of her head with some of this water I've got in this syringe. So it's just some nice clean water. I'm just going to bathe that. Just trying to keep it cleaned up. It obviously does hurt her. She does squeal a lot when I do it. But it's important to try and keep it. I'm so sorry. Just clean up anything. And there's not as much coming off now so... It's definitely getting better. There was so much blood coming off it before and like obviously the discharge coming out of it, but it's just a little bit now. I'm so sorry. I know. All right, darling. That'll do. We'll go put you back with the others then. Oh, you're a star. You're a star. So unfortunately we have had to say goodbye to a few of our guinea pigs as well over the last short while and you may have noticed that in my more recent videos that Miffy hasn't been in them and Miffy did pass away a few months ago now 
it wasn't so long after I made the Meet My Guinea Pigs video and I think she was heading towards seven years old so she really was just quite elderly and she slowed down little by little every day so I suppose it was quite a peaceful way to go. She didn't really have any signs of illness or anything, she just had really slowed down in the kind of last few days or even weeks leading up to that so she sadly is no longer with us anymore and I suppose one way to look at it is that she did make it to quite a good age so it is obviously you know it's it's the best way for them to go really rather than having to go through all like a horrible illness or anything but obviously she was such a big part of our group and we had her so long so it was quite strange not having her anymore and we also very recently had to say goodbye to Isla and this was a very big shock actually because Isla had never had any health problems and she had really not shown any signs of illness up until literally just days before she passed and we'd, you know, fully checked her over and there just really was nothing to see, which was really strange. Um, but it seems like there could have been something more deep-rooted and internal, which we really don't know because she'd been very healthy and, you know, never had any problems until then. So it really is, is quite a mystery. Um, but she was really doing absolutely fine until a few days before which was probably Thursday that it happened Thursday that she passed away it's now Monday so basically I found her one evening she was just not acting herself she wasn't right I could tell that there was something off so obviously it was quite late and dark out so what I'd done is I'd just give her some pain relief because that sometimes can help them start eating again get their appetite back if they're in pain for whatever reason so I did that um the next morning she really was no better and I'd brought her in to try and syringe feed her some water and at least get something down her and try and get a little bit of you know anything down her really because she'd not eaten or had anything herself so I did that and I brought her in and within about probably I don't know 10-15 minutes of me you know trying to get water down her and do that she was really really fighting for the syringe off me um and then I could see she was like gasping for breath she was really struggling with her breathing um and then she'd literally just you know very very shortly after I brought her in she'd just passed and yeah obviously there was something deep rooted going on there but it's a real shame because I think Isla was probably only about three but she was our youngest so it was really horrible to lose Isla and she was again like Miffy such a big part of our group and such a big personality and character so not having her anymore is really horrible and you know she was so full of personality that I just it just felt so strange not having her anymore it still feels really strange obviously it's only been a couple of days but um I guess you know the worst thing is just not knowing and you know wish that I could have helped her in some way but we really don't know what happened with her because it was all so sudden and just out of the blue really was but um I suppose the good thing is she hadn't suffered for a long time you know she it was very quick and and obviously she's not suffering anymore but um yeah, sometimes illness with guinea pigs can go on for a very long time and they can suffer a lot so I suppose I've got to be grateful for the fact that it was over and done very quickly and she didn't have to suffer for very long.